Leafy flowery hybrids feature the same silage specific characteristics as leafy hybrids with the addition of more ruminally available starch for milk production. What we found out by working with nutritionists and nutrition researchers is that flour, uh, starch digestibility is heavily related to particle size. So it's particle size affects the uh, ability of the volatile fatty acids in the silage to break down the protein bonds that, that bind everything together and kind of lower digestion. And the particle size also is very important in the rumen because it gives much more, the, the finer the particle, the much more area that there is for the rumen microbes to attack or eat the product up and, and digest it and turn it into microbial protein, which, which feeds the cow. 18 years ago, I found in our nursery kernels on an ear that were completely flowery inside. And this became the basis of our, what we now have as leafy flowery hybrids in the marketplace. What we determined along the way was that we are working with a gene called opaque one. Opaque means that it does not transmit light. So these kernels that you see on the O are on a backlit light table and no light comes through these flowery kernels and light comes through the vitreous kernels which uh, you see all around it. So this is a flowery kernel and this just mushed in my mouth uh, because it's so soft and you can see that it is totally white flowery starch on the inside of the kernel. I'll explain the genetics of the leafy flowery hybrids in the market. So flowery is uniform in one of the parents of the cross. Leafy is uniform in the other parent of the cross. The cross between the two gives us leafy flowery seed. These leafy flowery seeds, when planted in the farmer's field, make leafy flowery hybrid plants that have to undergo sexual meiosis in order to set seed on the ear. Meiosis gives the division of the flowery, which is recessive, and the leafy, which is dominant. So 25% of the kernels that are set on the ear are full flowery. The other 75% are like our other leafy hybrids in that they have a high proportion of the kernel that is flowery. This slide shows the shaved kernels of the mature ears of our leafy line, our parent line, which is full flowery, and then an ear of the leafy flowery hybrid, which has 25% of the kernels as full flowery, the ones that are solid white, and then you can see the kernels that are a mixture of yellow, vitreous, and white flowery. So the big advantage of the more flowery endosperm is in particle size in the final harvested product. Particle size can only be affected by the kernel harvester with its processor on it. So having these softer kernel texture kernels in the product means that we get a lot more small pieces in the silo. This demonstration compares two dry grain samples to illustrate some of the inherent differences between the hard vitreous kernels that are bred for grain and leafy flowery kernels that are bred for higher starch digestibility. Both samples will be ground at the same grinder setting. The kernels of the grain hybrid produce a meal which has a lot of hard vitreous pieces in it and some flowery starch in there. It is well known now by nutritional scientists that the smaller and finer the particles of starch can be made, the more rapidly they become digestible in the silo and the more rapidly that they can be digested in the cow. The flowery leafy produces a product that has considerably more of the flowery pieces and very small pieces of the vitreous stuff. So here is data from Cumberland Valley Analytical Services. In this table, you can see the headings across the top, the different kinds of variety that is down the side. And I'll draw your attention to the seven hour starch digestion rate on leafy flowers. They range from a low of 69 to a high of 77. Comparison to the standard leafy variety, it was at 68%. Leafy traded was 65. A BMR and a dual purpose variety in the same trials 
were at 58 percent. The moistures are on the right hand column and you can see that they are very close in terms of moisture so that means these are very comparable trials and we got the dry matter yields and we see that the leafies and the leafy flowers are yielding much better than BMR or dual purpose. So our new leafy flowery hybrids have all the advantages of the leafy varieties and they've got the added advantage of smaller particle size which leads to more starch digestibility in the rumen and more milk.